This is the Aurelian Yacht Loafer, and it just may be the best suede loafer that is under a thousand dollars so the first thing you're gonna notice with the suede upper is that it's incredibly soft and kind of velvety well this is their softy suede technology which is basically their way of making suede uppers which is exclusively they use french calves don't know that much about cows or that much about how the difference between different kinds of cows but that's what they use and it's also exclusively treated with specific oils which are developed that will easily transfer to the suede so when they're dyed to get different colors which in these loafers you can get like 23 different colors on their website it's meant to keep the integrity and that softness and that luster of the suede and not worry about any dye leaks or transfer issues in the process their loafers are made in italy the calf skin material go continues into the interior and also you have this beautiful hand stitching on the outside now this one is a little bit uh, debatable i think it's really up to personal preference whether you like the hand stitching or not i am a big fan of a lot more handmade when you really see the craftsmanship some people may prefer a little bit more of a seamless um, aspect of the design but i'm personally a big fan of it you have the stamped aurelian emblem which is the only branding that you're going to find so you get that nice minimalism you're going to get excellent versatility out of it you have rubber latex soles and the one thing i got to mention with any suede loafer it is a little bit more of an enthusiast kind of loafer to get i know that may not make the most amount of sense but if you have your traditional leather loafers you can simply wear them until you break them in and they're good to go suede requires a little bit more time loving care especially if you want to get the most out of it have it look its best and have a lot of longevity so having something like a suede brush and a suede cleaning kit is absolutely essential giving them a good brushing you know if you first time you're wearing them for the season or at the end of the season or just keeping them fresh is super important and of course having a suede cleaning kit there so you can spot clean some areas to keep it is definitely essential it is going to be a little bit more involved of a process to keep them looking its best the longest so that may be a pro or con for you when it comes to the fit and the comfort this is their strongest category by far and i really think they are unmatched the first thing you're gonna notice is you don't have to break them in and when it comes to loafers whether they're leather or suede this is a big pro so many people i see are turned away from loafers because they have to break them in and they're uncomfortable and it's a little bit more of an involved process to get them looking their absolute best especially when you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis but with that unlined suede upper you just slip them on and you're good to go. And because of this, you can actually wear them with socks and without socks. Now, loafers without socks, it's a big debate, you know, whether your feet are going to be super stinky, but this is something you're going to wear to the beach, and then, you know, you're going to go into the pool or ocean, you're going to wash your feet off later, then it's completely fine. But the fact that you can wear them without socks is a really good sign that they're very well engineered to be very comfortable. So yeah, no blisters, they're super breathable, so no sweaty feet. And the first pair I bought for myself back in uh, September when my girlfriend and I were in Miami for a week, I wore these almost every day, got over 20,000 steps in, and they were just as comfortable as wearing a pair of sneakers. Now, all these features and comfort are gonna come at a price tag. They are around $400 US pair now some people will argue that they're super basic there's really nothing much to them other than just the material and the craftsmanship which i totally agree if you're looking in terms of design this is very simple it's very elegant it's very timeless it may be a little boring for some people but i'm personally a big fan of them and when it comes to the equivalent the number one thing that people compare it to is the laurel piana open walk which if you see if you see these two side by side they look nearly identical. The Laurel Piana Open Walk is going to run you anywhere between $950 to $1,000 per pair. Now, I've actually tried on a pair of the Laurel Piana Open Walks here at uh, Harry Rosen, which is basically, it's a Canadian luxury menswear retailer. Only place I can really find Laurel Piana that, you know, is in Toronto. And I tried on both the Aurelian loafers when I was there um, while wearing them and the Laurel Piana Open Walks. And I'll be honest with you, I cannot tell the difference. They are both almost nearly identical. I don't know if they're actually, they could be coming from the same factory for all I know, but I think double the price, 
you're just that additional, basically double what you're paying is just for the Laurel Piana branding. And I think this, if you were looking for a very no frills, just quality, style, versatility, you're getting that with Aurelian. Now there's a second one that's similar to it that is still a little bit more of that rubber sole suede upper and that is Brunello Cuccinelli suede penny loafers and they also run around $950 so still you can buy two pairs of Aurelian loafers for the same price you're getting from Brunello Cuccinelli or Laurel Piana but then again you are paying basically double to say that you can pay for Laurel Piana Brunello Cuccinelli the quality is still going to be there it's still going to be top notch everything all the bells and whistles all the trimmings that we talked about it's there but is it really worth twice for something as pretty simple and elegant as these, I think absolutely not. Get yourself multiple pairs. They got 24 plus colors listed on the website, and I'm definitely a big fan of these. As you could tell from the beginning of the video, would I buy more of these? Yes, I bought one pair in September. I bought another pair in December. I absolutely love these. I think they're such a great value for your money. You're having some timeless, elegant, versatile style. And if you take care of them, if you're really on top of your game when it comes to taking care of suede, it can last you a lifetime. You can always go on the website, place the insoles, which I really love, as well as you have so many different color options to choose from. And it's a very reasonable price point, especially if you can find a sale. You can even get them for even cheaper, which I think is a great win. But definitely... This is a loafer for you if you love classic menswear, if you want something that's super breathable, super you can wear in the summertime, but it does come at a bit of a premium, 400 US, and also that little bit of additional time and effort that you need to put into to maintain the suede. So you're going to have to invest in a suede cleaning kit, something maybe 30, 40 bucks on Amazon, and you're going to need to be a little bit more I guess, diligent in making sure things look great so you can get the most out of them. This isn't like a typical leather loafer where you break it in, you wear it, you wipe it down, you hydrate it, and you're good to go. This is a little bit more labor intensive, but I definitely feel it's worth it. And let me know what you guys think. Would you buy this or would you not? Thank you all so much for joining me for this video. I'm planning to do a lot more review content in the coming weeks. It's just something that you know I've been having on the back burner for a little bit, and these are just one of my favorite purchases of the last year, so I thought about sharing it with you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos on screen right now. Peace.